hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i'm going to show you how you can create your study area heat map uh, using google earth engine and arc map so here i'm just giving you an overview how you can generate lst or heat map for your study area and further i will explain the code in details and the processing further processing in arc map so this is just a demo now uh, it's just overview and now let's move to our code and where i will explain how you can create your own study area heat map so uh, this is my email address uh, you can just mail me to get this code so let's start our code first of all i'm gonna click on run and to show you how it will work and here you can note my email address so let's start our board so to get our heat map we're gonna use module so first of all i defined variable landsat lst which is actually module which i'm going to use for our heat map or land surface temperature map <clears throat> so here i defined the module so you can note the address of the module so after that i defined pakistani geographer a variable pakistani geographer is actually a lahore pakistan a city over here in pakistan so i will focus on lahore which is my study area and i selected my study area as my map center object okay so and here in uh, <coughs> you can see uh, i'm using landsat 8 in variable satellite i defined landsat 8 and the main thing that i'm using ndvi within my lst so that's why it's true if you don't want to use like ndvi so you can just simply type false here so here you can see true it means that uh, i'm gonna use ndvi so further uh, i subtracted it from 20 273.15 uh, which means uh, we will get our temperature in degree celsius otherwise it will be in kelvin so here i applied some reducer to get our minimum and maximum so here you can see uh, uh, i applied the color palette with minimum and uh, maximum to get our uh, visualization according to our uh, range so and uh, here you can see i applied the uh, i applied legend and in legend uh, i defined the gradient and there i selected the uh, legend uh, uh, sorry uh, minimum uh, lst and maximum lst as an input where you can see i defined variable gradient and which i defined different functions to get minimum and maximum lst range uh, so it's all about the code and you can see that i apply different scale functions and at last which is main point i i added two functions if you want like directly colorful image you can get or otherwise you can simply get uh, the pure perfective to get further processed in uh, arc map so i'm just going to click on run to show you results then i will further process the output tiff or output layer into arc map for further processing okay now i clicked on run now it uh, gonna take me to my study area which is lahore pakistan and here you can see it uh, given me the range that 15 is like my minimum land surface temperature for my date range and maximum is like maximum lst is my 41 uh, within my date range and uh, you can see over here in console that uh, um, it's showing me mean land surface temperature minimum land surface temperature maximum land sur surface temperature so overall it's our heat map you can just say it's our heat map so um, uh, in short um, it's like a heat map of lahore pakistan so you can sense it like where the uh, temperature is higher and where the temperature is bit lower so you can sense that the uh, central part uh, is a bit uh, uh, like uh, 
uh, very much uh, heated than the surroundings uh, or or you can see the corner uh, or or you can see the outer part is bit more cooler so via this way you can uh, generate your uh, uh, area heat map so and you can export so let me give you an example so i'm gonna export it then we will further process this in our art map so keep it attached and watch this full body video it uh, gonna be very helpful and i will show you each and every step and uh, i will uh, make layout there and then i'll show you and uh, yeah this way you can uh, get your study area map and for example if you experience uh, the difference in the values then uh, i suggest you you can go for um uh, uh, like cloud masking and other techniques so that will definitely uh, affect your results okay so i'm just uh, waiting for the image to get exported so when image will be exported so i will show you and i will further process in arc map okay so for that i'm just going to speed up the video then i will further process in arc map map Uh, now my file is downloaded that is yt and here you can see i loaded the file into my arc map and uh, you can see that uh, there is black border around so uh, here i will explain how you can remove uh, that border so first of all you have to search extract by mask make sure the spelling should be accurate so you have to search extract by mask so and you have to extract it by mask so first of all for example input raster which is our yt in this case and you can select uh, uh, lahore pakistan which is actually my shape file so i'm gonna select it as a feature mask and the file output file you can just uh, name it like for example i'm giving here names like l1 l2 l3 so it's up to you you can set your name and remember to uh, name the extension like .tif and in environment in processing extent you can select your shapefile so in my case my shapefile is Lahore Pakistan so and I'm also uh, assigning the coordinates according to my uh, shapefile so it will be helpful like to get um, uh, accurate results so this is our final layer uh, uh, i just extracted it by mask so for example if you want to remove the zero uh, value or uh, already um, uh, uh, by extract by mask that's gone but if you want further you can just process further uh, by this copy raster option so just go to the copy raster and here you can see no data value which is minus three you can just type zero here or you can just remove and you can save your uh, file so you will get your uh, uh, like uh, tiff without any additional or no data value uh, so this is another trick you can just search uh, copy raster so i'm just going to delete it or if for example if if, if for example if i press delete and click ok and if it doesn't work then you can simply go again on copy roster uh, copy raster and type here zero so here i'm just going to show you practically so for example uh, here you can see the value is still there and it's not gone so what i'm going to do i'm just going to type zero here uh, what uh, for example you have to select all and click zero and uh, then you can select uh, your output and click ok so for example in my output uh, okay and that will be for example this is my this is gonna be my final layer which we will further process so I'm just going to click it on save and now I will show you the properties and I hope that there will be zero or something and so uh, let me check so you can see that no data value is 0 0.00 it means our no data value is gone now our tiff file is fully accurated and uh, now we can just process it further so first of all uh, you can set you can see that higher is 41 and low is 15 you you can see uh, from here uh, that our higher is 15 and our lower is 
41 you can see and uh, you can see uh, i used how much color palettes here so you can define that much classes according to your color palettes so in my case for example if i define at least um, 10 color I, I i i define 10 colors so i'm just going to take 10 classes so click on label format label and you can just type two here uh, so it will yeah like uh, round your number and you will get the ranges like 15 to 27 degrees celsius and you can see that the last one is 36 to 42 degrees celsius so it will give you different classes and you can just uh, give each class the number for example we can select it from bluest range to the reddest for example that blue one is coming under 15 to 27 the next one like bit green so uh, via this way you can um, make your uh, map very much astonishing appealing and it's it will be like very uh, uh, much appealing so you uh, remember if you want exact results like as you just uh, got your map in your uh, Golarity engine so you can just uh, get your um, uh, color palettes uh, hex code and you can just put in here or you can just li like uh, get RGB code from there and you can uh, put the values in each class so you will get uh, your map exactly like your color palette so here I'm just giving you an example so I'm just turning it to the reddest range uh, so we will get our area heat map or you can in simple word you can say uh, LSD so uh, I'm just practically showing you and this with the different classes so you can see it's my heat map uh, for example uh, like if I change the color you can see or you can sense the difference that uh, the area is coming under uh, th like 31 plus range or so and you can add legend so it's up to you you can also like uh, uh, uh this uh, you can also modify the legend uh, according to your own needs you can uh, make you can split it into two rows so it's up to you i'm just giving you an overview uh that how you can create your uh, map layout in arc map so here i'm just going to speed up the video to save your time uh, and here's uh our output you can see so here here the stretch for example if you want this stretch option you can also use it just click apply and first of all you can see the results and you got the result and if for example i go to the range uh, layout view and you will see i got the range like minimum 15 that is low and maximum is 41 that is high so you can just rename this one like for example this is lahore so i'm just doing lahore lsd or you can see or you can type lahore uh, heat map and you can remove this value and uh, you can see and for example if you want to further process just go to the page layout and uh, click on landscape so it's up to you and your study area if, if your study area is like demanding landscape you can go for landscape if you feel that your study area is uh, like best suitable for a portrait you can go for portrait so i'm just giving you an examples here so here you can see legend and here you can see my map heat map where you can sense that the central part is a bit more hotter than the outer and the outer part is bit greener which indicates it's uh, like uh, from 15 to 20 or 20 something and the yellowish range showing it that it's like from 30 to 41 range oh it's up to you how you uh, manage so it was all about how you can uh, create your own uh, study area heat map i hope that you enjoyed the video so uh, and i also explained in this video how you can remove the black border or how you can further process your google earth engine tiff into arc map so i hope it was helpful thank you for watching my video stay blessed bye take care